Alright, so I defeated them with a direct assault strategy. I did not go to the safe once, and I did not use one dagger. Oh, that's a crystal shard, so we can actually use a crystal shard in combat. That is the. I think she said to hour. save it for this first time or something. Yeah, the first time we have to save it, otherwise we'll have to go on this uh, crystal shard hunt all over again. So, do save it, otherwise you will have Basically, to what this allows you to do is summon a demon... Uh, there was this one cutscene that actually showed it in action, but we decided to skip right. it. Now, now, this demon, well, in your battle, um, if you're fighting, you can summon this demon. Just highlight the crystal shard. Uh, it's probably the strongest weapon that you have. He'll come in and just basically put a huge dent, uh, if not kill your enemies. And it uh, works pretty well on bosses to do like half of their health. So, I, I suppose I don't need to kill. say that you, you probably want to save that. For uh, very critical situations. Um, like, very. Can I fall? Yeah, you can fall here. Yeah. I mean, there should be another one down here somewhere. There right? is. So, we now have... Now she'll ask us to go back. Our four crystal shards uh, are... Um, four crystals, and that allows us to get Why? the dark crystal. And, yeah... Oh, and that uh, that girl there is mute, but she can spell, still speak out of telepathy. My dad remembers this puzzle. Actually, he doesn't, but I just gave it to him. Now, um, to select the shard, just you know, in the future, you just use your digital keypad, and you hit left, and you can see in the top left corner that uh, now um, it's ready to be used. And simply, you would just press B to activate. Even I'm not going to do it because I need to save it. I'm just so gonna, just be safe, let's put it back to daggers. Yeah, I've just put it to daggers. And eventually we'll, we'll have two other items uh, that you will select with the up and the down Which we'll be getting digital soon. Uh, key. The third pad. one we'll actually be getting in the following chapter. Right. I would know. Oh, okay. There it is. This is like the solar puzzle or something. Oh, let me quickly do this. Okay. Because um, I can these guys pretty badly. Whoa. Whoa. It's actually he just kind grabs of, you like nothing. It's kind of good if he grabs you because that way you can actually inflict some a good amount of damage. Throw daggers at him, okay? I, will, I fine, 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 fine. fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know that that does a damage to him without you being so close to him. Look, he's ready for our. No, I thought he was ready for our team. And you got some daggers laying in front <coughs> here. That was only one. You got six more daggers. There, see. Mount. See how easy it is the daggers. Okay, daggers. B. Finish him off. There, he's ready for RT. I'm moving. Alright, don't worry, this time I'll be so impatient. So we're gonna try knocking this down with our fist. Which we have just done, and now we have to kill this thing. Right? I believe so. Um, do we get that bottom part or no? Bottom part? What do you mean? Oh. Oh, that statue. We're supposed to do something with solarness. Here's the scroll puzzle, man. Dad, not you. I think we're supposed to go on this side here. There we go. Now we have to do uh, something with solar power. Right. So this is a little puzzle. Uh, not too complicated. Let me see. Okay, here's this one. Now we can um, use our dark crystal to activate this thing here by pressing RT. Right. You have to get in front of it so that the dark crystal goes inside. And it'll, it's going to start emitting this uh, beam. beam. Of awesomeness. It's gonna open this door here. Uh, we just basically have to redirect the light. To. This is fairly simple. We'll show you. Oh, we have to. All we have to do is get the light into. So all we have to do, 
What we have to do is ultimately get the light reflecting on this thing, which will get the light emitting to the door. Gotta push this. We don't have the gauntlet yet. Right. You just so have we to could turn the it. Yeah, we could just. We could, I think we we what what we need to do is we need to turn this thing around a tad bit. How do we turn it? No, we take the shard actually and take it inside there. That, that we just needed it to open the door. And now we take it and continue the puzzle. Oh. Yeah, remember? It'd be more of a puzzle if they made the door like close or something. I forgot about that. Now this will... Okay, they want us to go to this one. Because it's the blinking one. Uh, no, oh, wait, we have to turn this to the one with the light. Right. Well, we, we turn the... I think they um, respond by to moving if you whip it. Yeah, they do. So how about you move it? Wait, why is it not moving? This is interesting. We didn't struggle this badly earlier. Uh, it's alright. It's been a while. It's been like a month since we did this. Yeah, so no worries. No, 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 no. Take a look around. Right, so we need to put that. We need to put that Where crystal shard. Crystal? We have, to we have the crystal the shard in the light that. There, we need we needed to activate it first. Have it in there. All right. We can't insert it in there. Okay. Well, we can insert it in there. Now, first yeah. RT. Oh, yeah. All right. We simply had to be in front of it. Well, that was stupid. Okay. Thank you for those, not exactly the best hints. I get it now. All we have to do is shine the light um, um, simply um, forward, okay. and then we sh will shine it diagonally on the back statue. Okay, the other way, please. Yeah. Whoa, you missed it. You missed it. I'm trying. This, is, this thing's to not To the left, to the left. I, I know this thing's not, I, I know what to do. Okay. This thing's not very easy to move. It. There. Okay. There, alright. Got it. Um, Something has a mind of its own. Hey, we're bringing it on the game like this thing can never do. I'm just saying. Right. But I don't blame you for blaming the game. Okay, here we go. As we progress through this game, we will. Face puzzles like no, this. We need to shoot it towards that statue there, straight. Of course, just whoa, straight whoa, ahead. Whoa, 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 back. And we're gonna be faced with a sub boss. That. Now we're gonna be faced here with a sub boss, and she has. Whoa! I'm happy. We yeah. have got all the magic gems. Now, boss. Yeah, that's fine. Sanctuary of Titans. Now, we have two more levels in Chapter 2, and both are boss levels. There are going to be uh, lots of cutscenes here that just revolve around as good as nothing. Yeah. Now, this boss right here is going to be respectably annoying. We've unlocked the character's beast entry. Now, unlock the, unlike the first Oh, it's like Titan, the ruins. Uh, you want to avoid that stomp by simply jumping. Now, when she gets this rock here, she, when she throws it at you and it glows, you want to press RT and rotate the left stick and start walking towards her. And then the Black Knight is going to be epic and come slash at her. Now you're going to simply want to avoid the rocks here, and as she's kneeling painfully, we climb up this titan, just like we've done before with the ice titan. Now, this one is a little more complex to figure your way, I believe. Just my opinion. Whoa, whoa, that was close. Whew. She doesn't move her hand like the other one, does she? No. Yeah. Or not that I remember.
remember. Arshita. She has her own ways of being annoying, though. I'm pretty sure. I mean, she's the second Titan, so she would naturally have her own annoyances, right? Right. I personally find this one easier than the first. Just my personal opinion. Now we're already by the first um, rune here, just for her leg. But every time you hit a ruin, however, she does get um, a little more wild. And you, you will have to move every time Slow you down. defeat a ruin. Watch for the RT. <laughs> so grip. Again, right. there are four ruins. RT. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's okay. Oof, that thing is homing. Oh, well, you, you drained a lot of your health right now. Yeah, uh, no, that thing is kind of homing. You know, that, that's far enough, son. Dead guy. That dude, yeah, it just tells you what to do. You don't need to get anything. No. Oh, whoa. Amazing job. I remember when we first fought this Did we guy. get to that dude initially? No. I don't think so. Okay, RT that thing. You have to keep holding RT. I... But I'm moving, so stop getting ticked. <laughs> whenever you kind of hear your, um, whenever you feel the Xbox remote vibrating, you can pretty much tell it that the thing is going to be RT. R that you're going to need an RT. Well, I let go of the RT button too much. Huh? Uh, let me just finish Not off the ruin. I understand now what to do. Well, I did first, but now I. Shark is gone. Better way of handling it. Now, as soon as you do this, you're just gonna want to go to the very bottom and RT. Now she's going to lift her hand, and we're going to have to grip as she wildly moves her hand like a crazy person. And then she's gonna be like, I am aiming on you, cause I am evil. And now, our little friend is gonna get ticked. Here as we- Okay, this through. one, hold on RT. It's on RT. She's ready to shake. <laughs> I've got RT. She didn't realize how many hits I got before her shake. All right, just <laughs> do maybe three at the max this time. Yeah, she's really got mad. Okay. I am escaping downward. RT. So the, the hand does come to like where you... Only when you're doing things like this. So we do have ourselves a little checkpoint, which is good. So now we are going to have to just climb up easily to where the third ruin is. Yeah, I know. Pretty basic. Until I die. You did great. I, mean, I know. Got us to a checkpoint. But, 